He's become known across Canada as the Tokwa guy. Why do you guys call it a Tokwa? I have never heard this term before in my life. TikTok traveler Colvin Jewell of New Zealand arrived in Canada just before Christmas. And from one of his very first posts to social media, he instantly tickled the funny bones of Canadians. Someone commented saying, did anyone else scream at the pronunciation? <laughs> And it got like 20,000 likes. <laughs> you don't say Tokwa anymore? No, it's too good. Now traveling from coast to coast, learning about what makes Canucks tick and posting it to TikTok. Thank you so much for all just being so smiley and welcoming and like kind, like no one's mean. Getting a taste of Canada has at times been bitter. The other day I saw minus seven. <laughs> I don't know why everyone is asking me to try cough medicine. I'm sure there's a reason why. Oh, it's so good. And sweet. It's like pastry, but not. But what he's been taken back by the most is the kindness of the people here. Canadians are a different breed of people, man. Two hours after landing here, people were already asking for my social media, like, hey, let's catch up, let's hang out. Those shared experiences with a little humor thrown in is like money in the bank for the travel industry. He's sharing what makes up the cultural fabric of our country. He's doing it in a, in a, fun and playful way and that's engaging. Social media influencers like Colvin are driving interprovincial and international tourism like never before. Do you see this? Are we reading the same thing? Feeling much more authentic than produced advertising. Social media platforms have been an amazing tool for the tourism industry to really get real life stories about destinations out to the general public. I love red chicken shirts. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, correction. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That would be oh, plaid, yeah. buddy. If somebody called me buddy back home, I would panic. Shelly Steves, Global News, Fredericton, New Brunswick.